All right, what's good, YouTube? In this tutorial, I'm gonna be breaking down a loop that I made for my newest loop kit. Uh, it has five plug and B loops and five slave world loops. It's completely free. I'll put a link down in the description. But yeah, let's get into this video. All right, so this is the loop I'm gonna be breaking down. All right, so for the first thing I did, I grabbed, uh, I went into Purity. I went Vintage EP Piano 2. Yeah, those are the chords. Next. So next I went into this Roland VST that Savvy gave me. And this is the preset right here. I basically just copied the same notes. Next, I went into um, Bells and Perks, Bells with Harmonics, copied the same notes. This is basically just a lot of layering. Next, I went to Drag Strings. Slow strings and purity. And then I got cheap lead. This is a this is a, this is a preset that I don't see a lot of people using, but I actually like using this preset a lot. It's called Flying Sign. Yeah, so basically, yeah, it's just a lot of layering. Let's start with some drums. Usually for all my drums, I see a lot of people using um, the plug and B one right here. I see a lot of people using um, like these type of 808s. And yeah, those are nice, but I just love this one. The cool 808. So let's get a clap. Bro, like this freaking camera, come on, bro. Actually, you know what? We'll put it this way. All right, bro, like, what the f What? Bro, like. I know young Brando does not put like leads and all that. He just sticks with the piano. 
but I put leads in my stuff just because it gives more emotion, I guess. All right, so let's arrange this beat now. I like it like that. I mean, the jumps are simple. Here are the final jumps right here. Yeah, the jumps are simple. Uh, you guys heard the melody. So let's just... Uh... Bro, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're gonna end it right there. 237. These I like to keep my beats around 237, 240. Or 230, 240, my fault. Uh but yeah, so basically how we're gonna bring this in. Uh we can bring this in right here. And we can bring the coin slot in. Put this up. Put the, I usually put my effects at 41. That's an empty one, right? Yeah. You put my effects at 41. Uh right here, 41. Oh my gosh, bro. This is still a little bit low. Normalize it. So yeah, your tag would probably go right here. And then I just put them each at the four. And then right here, to keep it interesting, I'll put it like that. Boom, boom. So it hits once, it keeps going. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll let it lead on like this. A lot of people, what they do here is they grab this crash, right? They grab this crash. And then what they do here is they stutter it. So it comes in like this. Right here. Like that. So another way to keep it interesting is have your melodies all on one pattern and do So now you have your whole melody, right? I'm gonna put this at 43 just cause why not? And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab this, put it right there, double click it. I put it at eight, the range at eight. And I'll do create an automation clip. Get this first part right here. Bro, watch out. That's gonna be a 0 0.5. And then it should sound like this. Yeah, all right. And then whatever your, um, let's see what this purity is at. All right, so it's on a one. So we'll put this on a one. Yeah, so then. It's like a little like fade in. Right there. Bro, why is this thing so dark? Or am I just dark? <laughs> so yeah, bring it like this. Alright, so that's going to end this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I will be doing more of these plug and beat tutorials or Slay World tutorials. The Discord link is down below. My email is down below. The download link to this new loop kit is down below. All that. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.